So I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my first week on keto every day, how I felt, and then at the end of the video, I'll let you know how much weight I lost on my first week. Before I did keto, I was counting macros and counting calories, and so that's kind of like the context that I'm coming from. I was trying to lose weight for like, I don't know, the last four years, and I tried keto once, I didn't like it, but now it's like, I don't know, two years later, and I'm trying it again, and so far, I'm kind of obsessed with it. So day one was super easy. I felt like it was a lot easier than counting calories. I just ate like eggs in the morning with sausage and cheese and salsa and then had a snack in the afternoon and then in the evening I had I made a big bacon ranch chicken thing. Uh, if you saw my shorts you know which one I'm talking about. Super easy, super simple. By the way if you're wondering this blue sleeping bag over here is my son on my bed. <laughs> day two was basically the exact same as day one. I didn't feel weird all day long. I felt really good. I didn't feel like it was that challenging. I was eating the exact same thing that I ate on day one. In fact, we went to eat at my parents' house that night for like a family dinner, and I just brought leftovers of that same exact dinner I had the night before. I brought that to my parents' house and just ate it there to make sure that I wasn't gonna go off the eating plan. However, that night, which was day two at 5 p.m., I felt like I got hit by a truck. I was so tired. <laughs> it felt like my bedtime and we were our, like 45 minutes away from our house. I was like, okay, we need to leave because I'm so tired. I don't know how I'm gonna stay awake on this drive home. That was the start of my keto flu. I got home, I put the kids to bed and then I got in bed basically. And I just stayed in bed until I went to sleep. And then the next day I woke up and I felt horrible. I felt like I was irritable. I was exhausted, like, which normally when I wake up in the morning, I have a lot of energy. I'm like a morning person. It was like bizarre for me waking up and being like, why am I so tired? Like, I just want to go back to bed. I felt a tiny hint of nausea. Now I'm going to share with you guys some real footage from day three. I was going to recap days one through three. So today is day three. I feel like something is happening in my body. I'm like, I feel very sluggish irritable, like out of breath almost. Like when I'm like just walking around the house. Oh my gosh, my battery's gonna die. Got a new battery. So far, I'm really enjoying keto and here's why. I think because I've been like doing my macros for such a long time and kind of like failing at it and like counting calories. I, I go back, back and forth between macros and counting calories. I feel like with those, the food is just pretty, I don't know, not like, fulfilling. I don't know if that even makes sense, but like with keto, everything is like cheese and butter and sauce and it's just, it tastes really good. So it's like satisfying. That's the word I was thinking of. Not fulfilling. <laughs> it's satisfying food. So like, yeah, I'm eating broccoli, but there's like cheese sauce on it. And I'm like, this tastes so good. Like it doesn't make me, like, I don't feel like I'm like craving good food because I feel like I'm eating good food. That's crazy. That's crazy. Interesting. But I woke up this morning feeling very like off, kind of like, I think they call it like brain fog. Like I just felt like I couldn't like think straight. And I've heard that keto flu can start like on end of day two, day three, which last night I was so tired at 5 p.m. So tired. So I just kind of like laid in bed as soon as I got the kids in bed. And then I've been eating the same breakfast every day, which I am intermittent fasting as well. So it's like a brunch. It's like right before lunchtime. I eat like this big meal and then I have like at least one snack. And then in the evenings, I've been eating the same thing for dinner. So I need to like, I was just thinking I need to figure out what I'm going to make for dinner tonight. See, I already feel tired just talking, which I went and got electrolytes. Well, I ordered electrolytes on Amazon, but they don't get here till tomorrow because I heard that electrolytes help with the keto flu and just keto in general. So I went to the store and bought a Powerade Zero because those have electrolytes, which I think I'm gonna go, I think I'm gonna go drink another one because I'm just blah. 
And then that brings us to day four. I woke up feeling 100% fine. Like it just passed. I didn't feel sick. I didn't feel tired. I felt really good. So day four, pretty easy. I actually started something on day four that I was a big mistake. I started eating carrots and um, I made this like ranch dressing with like sour cream and this other, I'll show you a picture. This like seasoning that I got that's like, keto friendly and it was so good. I was like downing carrots and ranch. It was, I was eating too much of it. And then after like three days of doing that, somebody on Instagram was like, you know that carrots have a lot of carbs, right? And I was like, no. That leads us to day five. I felt like whatever, no big deal. Oh, uh, that leads us to day five and I felt pretty good, nothing crazy. So on day five, I took a keto urine test and it was totally negative which made me super discouraged because i was like i feel like i just went through the keto flu and now this says negative however i don't know if it was connected to all those carrots i was eating or if it's just because i was just getting started i'm not really sure i felt like part of me wanted to give up that day but you know my husband and i were like i'm just gonna keep going and see what happens i've never done a sit down video with all three kids at home. <laughs> Don't mind me. Day six, everything was good. I think that was the day that I figured out I wasn't supposed to be eating carrots as much. I toned that down, had an extra challenge that day because my husband and I were going on an overnight. And so I had to figure out how to eat out, but still be in keto. So we usually go to this really good restaurant, but I decided not to because I couldn't figure out what was keto friendly. So we ended up going to Outback Steakhouse. We had like a gift card. So I got like this big steak and then I got asparagus and a salad. Good enough, right? Day seven, we woke up and I got Starbucks egg bites, the bacon ones. And I thought that that was a really good choice, but then when I looked at the carbs, it was a little bit higher than I would have liked. We got home, hung out with the kids, and then we had a kid's birthday party that we had to go to. And so I knew that I was gonna be faced with more temptation. So I went ahead and packed myself my own personal snack bag, which totally helped. And then day eight and I woke up and I did not feel good. So that'll be my last day that I'm gonna report to you on this video. I wasn't planning on talking about day eight, but day eight, I did not feel good. And so I wanted to include it just in case anybody else has that experience. Um, I felt like brain fog. Like I was trying to focus on things and I just felt like I couldn't even pay attention to what people were saying. It was very bizarre and I felt very irritable. Just like the day that I was in day three, it felt similar to that. Later on in the day, I started feeling better maybe in like the late afternoon. And then I did take another one of those keto urine strip thing, test thingies, and it showed that I was in ketosis. However, I was like in a low end of ketosis, however you call that. But I felt encouraged because I'm like, okay, I'm on my way. That's that. So the reason why I wanted to make this video is because I was watching a lot of other people's videos on their first week of keto because I just wanted to know what to expect. And a lot of people lost like nine pounds their first week or something like that. Mine was not that much, but for me, it was a lot. To me, I think that it's a lot. I lost 3.4 pounds my first week and that for me is a huge victory. I've been counting calories and counting my macros and kind of just failing at it. So to get 3.4 pounds down on the scale in one week is like a straight up miracle. Because I watched so many other people's videos and they had like huge weight losses in the first week, I thought maybe I shouldn't do this, but then I was like, maybe I should do this because what if there's people just like me who didn't lose quite as much as they're seeing on YouTube and are discouraged. So I'm not discouraged because I feel like that's a lot for me. Just wanted to share. Let me know down in the comments what kind of videos you'd like to see as far as like fitness and nutrition go. Don't forget to subscribe.